Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I can speak. I can kind of speak. You can still tell I'm nasally and sick. I feel like the weather everywhere is insane, especially on the East Coast. It's scolding hot, freezing, raining, and everybody is sick. So I hope you're doing well. I hope you're not sick. But as you can tell from the thumbnail of today's video, we're doing another transformation into Johnny Depp's Mad Hatter. So let's get this transformation started. I am also super excited because I am partnering with She Glam on this video, and I will be using using their new Welcome to Our Playground collection. They were so sweet to let me incorporate this into something that I thought would be a great pairing for this. Not only is this collection awesome for everyday makeup, but it screams colorful, fun Halloween makeup. So I'm so happy they're letting me incorporate this because it is perfect for this Mad Hatter look. The packaging of this makeup is truly adorable. It is so inspiring to make you want to break out of your comfort zone, try new things, and play with color. So in this collection, we have the Mix and Match color palette. This is adorable, and we're definitely using this. Then we have the Merry-Go-Round Water Activated Eyeshadow Palette. The packaging is adorable. It's like very school, like it's a metal tin, and it comes with this little water spray bottle. Then we have the Welcome to the Playground brush collection. We're definitely gonna use these. Then we have the Slip and Slide Gloss. You can use this on the face, on the lips. So good for special effects too, if you wanna do like bruising or like wounds where the skin should look a little bit wet. A good face gloss is amazing. And lastly, we have the Peekaboo Multifunction Color Sticks in six really fun shades. And these bad boys are pigmented. Without any further ado, let's get this Mad Hatter transformation started. All right, guys, so we are starting with foundation. This is from Indie Beat Cosmetics, the face base colored foundations. The hardest part of doing like Halloween and special effects makeup is finding the best base. You get crappy makeup at the Halloween store or any drugstore, and it takes forever to actually get your face one color. All of these Indie Beat foundations, it comes in a full range, like any color of the rainbow, metallic shades, and they are so so, so beyond full coverage. It makes doing any Halloween or special effects makeup so much easier, so you have to check them out. And now we're gonna powder this foundation. I'm using my Kim Chi Chic Puff Puff Pass Powder. This is in the white shade. I would recommend using a white shade if you have it, or even a translucent. You don't wanna use any kind of like powder foundation with a color to it, or it's going to obviously take the white away. If you have a white powder, that would be even better. You just wanna make sure it is either translucent or white. Now it is time to fill the brows. I'm going in with the Bright Palette from Beauty Bay. And using the shade Tangerine Dream, you honestly just wanna use any eyeshadow that matches whatever your hair color is gonna be. It doesn't need to be the wig I got. It doesn't need to have a wig at all. But whatever color your eyebrow hair is, it's this is the color it's gonna be. Obviously his hair is orange in the film. So that's the wig I got. And that's what we're gonna be doing with our brows. Just filling them in normal. We're not doing anything crazy yet. We are gonna go back at the end and and stylize and finish them up. Now I'm going in with the first Peekaboo Multifunction Color Stick. This is in the shade Pink Velour, and we are carving out underneath our contour. So the difference with this than a normal contour is you're gonna place it a little lower than you normally would, and instead of blending it up like we normally would with a regular contour, we're actually blending this down because this will give a more masculine look to the face, creating a shadow down on the jawline rather than up where you wanna lift the cheekbones, which is why I'm adding this little L right here and you can see that's much more of a masculine face structure. And we're doing the same thing, blending it down instead of up. Now we're gonna repeat the exact same step on the other side. I always like to look straight ahead and make sure everything is even and symmetrical. And now I'm taking this pinch brush from the collection and going into the same pink velour shade, and I'm starting to run this under the eye, and you can see I'm using this brush because I'm sketching out the shape under the eye. The color under his eyes is much more to the side and back rather than really far underneath, so don't bring it in too close to the nose. And once I sketch out my shape, I'm switching to a fluffier brush so that I can really just pack on the color where I need it and buff out the edges and make sure everything is very saturated and also blended. Now I'm going in with the multi-function color stick in the shade Charmed, and we're doing the exact same thing on the other eye. I'm using the same brush. I didn't wipe off the color because it's fine if they mix. They're very close to each other, but I'm just sketching out the shape and then blending everything out with my finger. Now I'm going into the baby blue water activated shadow. I sprayed a little bit of the water into the cap, dipped in, and then, I mean, look at the pigmentation on this. This is so easy to apply, but what I love most about this is that 
that it's a eyeshadow. So you have the insurance of knowing once this dries down, you're not gonna have it increasing. Now I'm going into the purple shade and we're doing the exact same thing on the other eye. So it's important to note too that the purple goes above the pink eye and the blue goes above the redder under eye. Now I'm taking the multifunction color stick in Pink Velour, and I realized that he has this almost contouring on the forehead like this. This is a very typical technique, even when you're doing like skull makeup or something like that. This is just a more masculine way to contour the forehead. It gives much more definition to the center in a much more squared off masculine way rather than your normal rounded, more feminine contouring. Now I'm taking the super sharp liner brush that came with the collection. This brush is actually incredible, and and I'm using the white water activated shadow and I'm using this as a white liner proof that any of these colors in this palette would be amazing as a liner because it's so opaque and just applies like a dream and I'm actually putting this in the waterline as well the purpose of this is to make the eye look much rounder and bigger because obviously his eyes in the movie are like CGI enhanced bigger so we're gonna achieve that look with makeup and now for mascara if you don't have white mascara like me no worries I'm taking a disposable wand you can even use any spoolie, spraying it with the water and dipping into the white water activated shadow and using that because it's going to go on like a dream because it's obviously water activated. So it's creamy at the moment, but it is going to dry down to a powder. So, you know, it's not going to like flake and crumble, which I had this look on for hours and nothing flaked and crumbled. So this worked perfectly as top and bottom mascara. Now I'm taking the multifunction color stick in pink velour and contouring the nose, which I almost forgot to do. I do not know how. And now I'm taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just blending out that with the eyeshadow brush. It's a super creamy formula, so it blends out like a dream. Now I'm dipping into the pink eyeshadow in the first Michaela X Glam Lights palette. You can honestly use any color that matches that first color stick you're using. And I'm using this to intensify this color, really set everything because it is a cream to make sure that nothing's going to go anywhere. And then I'm mixing these two colors together and setting the other side, the more red side, to do the exact same thing, blend the edges, set everything, and punch up the color. Now I'm dipping back into that bright orange shade in the Bright Beauty Bay palette, and like I said, we're going back and adding more detail to the brow. So you can see here, I'm really making hair-like strokes in the center going up and out because he has actually like crazy bushy brows in the film. So we're not doing prosthetic brows. I'm obviously filling it with eyeshadow. So we're just sketching that up and out to make the center look very crazy. And then I'm really dipping in the palette to pack it on to make them like as orange as possible. And now I'm taking the color stick in pink velour. I'm sorry for the lack of focus. I don't know why my camera isn't focusing. And this actually is the perfect lip color. It literally matches his perfect, which I'm so happy about. Now I'm just taking a little bit more of my kimchi powder and setting everything. This is the finished look, you guys. Now I'm gonna pop in the contacts on the wig, the costume. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have many more Halloween transformations coming, as well as new makeup videos every day. But without any further ado, here is our transformation into Johnny Depp's Mad Hatter.